<laughs> we need the action shot. It's what what camera is this? This is the uh, the Canon R5 right there. See? Oh wow! Let me R just zoom in on red. that. Five is for uh, five fingers to hold this camera. This is the 24 to 70 f2.8. It's uh, got ultrasonic, ultrasonic focus, oh. faster than the speed of sound. How Unlike that seagull. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can even hear me. <laughs> the audio quality is probably really bad, but we'll make do. Yeah. <laughs> we'll put some subtitles on it. Yeah. Like, write whatever we think you're saying. So, you know, a very common problem is you just can't zoom far enough. So, we gotta go get the other lens. I got a couple. I got a 70 to 200 and a 100 to 400. I don't remember which one's which. I think this is the one to four. Let's see what it is. Boom, it is. 100 to 400. This lens goes farther than that lens. It's science. Check that out. We're gonna do a lens swap, hot swap on the fly. Face you down. Gonna unhook from there. Swap the cap. Do a little twist and you're done. So also, big. pro tip, take off yeah. the lens cap. Oh, wow, that's super so nice. But it messes with the style of it. But it gets bigger. Oh! Aww! <laughs> compensator 9000. <laughs> what we can uh. see with this, and then we're going to see, we'll put it up on a... Oh. In the edit. Yeah. Blame it on the edit. No, blame it on the edit. Apparently being a paparazzi is way easier than I thought it was. Yeah. Wow. It's like yeah, it's that boat. Like, I can't like, see shit. It's quite impressive. So let's see what's going on in the Hermosa Beach Pier. So, I can need to... There we go, Hollywood. Oh my god, we can just barely see it. <laughs> What's that called? Oh my god. <laughs> the uh, visceral feeling. You have to have a nice transition shot. Well, there's downtown LA. Okay, let's here. See downtown LA. So you see how it's foggy it is? Yesterday. Yeah, Yesterday. it was super clear. What are we looking at, Bryce? <laughs> what are we looking at? Yeah, through the lens. I'm looking at a helicopter. Yeah. <laughs> Can you see the people on there? Yeah, take a, take a portrait of the helicopter. <laughs> Adapt to the environment. Yeah. I, I would have to brighten it up. But yeah, there's a guy. You brighten everything up, Bryce. <laughs> there's a guy. Uh, no. There's my finger. Very interesting. Oh, hello. His eye there. And you can see the fishy right there oh in his God. talons. So I'm going to have to go in and get one with... Oh, that's even better because he's... Oh, you can see like the fish... Look, the globs mouth. from his oh mouth. Oh my gosh. He's a little droop fish mouth. Backlit. Oh. Um, <laughs> not backlit seagull. I mean, oh, you and the seagull not. have something in common. Backlit. We're backlit. Uh, <laughs> Mindy me coming from over there. Yeah. No, I haven't learned the seagull language yet. It's just, uh, a tough dialect. <coughs> Hi, Mr. Birdie. What He's a verb. Bird, bird, bird. Bird, bird is the word. Is it a bird, bird, bird? What is the word? <laughs> it's a common cultural phenomenon. But yeah, everybody. Stay safe. Meow, meow, meow. You don't notice where that goes. Welcome to the only knees. The only knees. Mm. Silky. I've done one leg. Seductive. Am I gonna do another? Ooh, this crow is just like. <laughs> Ooh. Poop on me. Hi. Oh, <laughs> poop on me. <laughs> I want some luck in life. Wait a minute, she has a location. What are your common subjects that you take photos of in well, this locale? What I like to do is get a 24 millimeter and get the whole arch of the bay. And ideally, you come here if not on clear skies, you wanna come here. With some clouds around sunset time, so the skies turn nice pink. During sunset, the side of the buildings are shiny, so they light up. And then perfect would be if there's actually snow on the mountains behind the ocean, the cliffs, the sky, downtown LA, snow capped mountains, and just to the left, you can see Hollywood sign. Get sick, me! 
That would be perfect. Today is not that day. <laughs> it is not that Let's day. Very clear. We got smog. It's sundown is in several hours and there ain't a cloud in the sky. So. And there's no snow. <laughs> we got some cool shadows. Yeah. Bryce, would you survive the Hunger Games? Only because I'm an endurance runner. I would just try to running. run away. That what part. about like having to kill out all the other people? Yeah. To survive. Nah. Yeah. Mm, see, you're gonna be the first to go. Bryce. Yeah. As a photographer, when you see people with larger cameras, how do you feel? Is it a comparative? Is it a jealousy thing? <laughs> or you just awkwardly laugh? <laughs> With what you got. Mm. I said mm. a budget. Mm. I mean, I didn't really set a budget. I just kind of bought it. <laughs> he didn't budget. <laughs> Hi, sir. I don't think the video does any justice, but this incline. But, uh, we are like. <laughs> How did we make it here, Cruz? Wow. With a prayer. With a prayer. <laughs> this man is on his toes, just teetering on the brink. Okay. Yep. You know, that's dedication. Meanwhile, oh. back here, we're like, uh, sure, alive. We're, we're hanging on. We're, we're hanging on. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> oh dear. How do you deal with failure? <laughs> what do you mean? It's never happened before. Never. Denial. <laughs> Den Denial. Denial, avoid, yes. and move on. Denial, avoid, move on. It did not happen. What has been your favorite location to shoot photography in? Oh, uh, we go in Jackson Hole. Oh, Jackson Hole? Consistently Jackson Hole. Yeah, you'd think it'd be Yosemite, but there's just something about the uh, adventurous nature of going to Jackson Hole by myself in a hostel and just renting a car, finding what I could find, talking to the locals, asking them for tips. A lot of fun. Are you in the photographer community? And if so, what's like a popular place that people talk about for, for photos? Well, I mean, there's a lot of groups within the photography community. So you have, you know, landscape photographers, which they... I have some friends who will wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning and drive three hours, go hiking. So I know those people, and there's the portrait photographers, studio photographers, wildlife photographers, which usually just kind of sit and wait a long time. So there's different groups. I'm more of the landscape nature photographer type. So I will... For birds, you just gotta get lucky. You gotta know the light, know which direction to look, and if a bird happens to fly in your line of sight where you want it, voila. Otherwise, you just sit and wait longer. It's get lucky ready. and be lucky enough to have the right setting on. Yeah. <laughs> nice. shooting I had a lot of fun with all of you watching me actually watching you touching you touching me that's a song right just kidding let's turn up <laughs> touching you oh I'm keeping all of this like subscribe comment anything that sounds like a sellout that's what I'm trying to tell you to do right now and uh, also I need to buy more camera gear it's empty 